All right, everybody. Um, I had a couple questions uh, about how I clean airbrushes. And uh, trying to see if I can find it on uh, my Fire Stick. Just read your comments. Uh, my phone, it won't pull up on my phone for some reason. Your guys' comments. I think I found it. All right. So this is John Poole. Um, he asked about how I clean my airbrush. And uh, this is the uh, the uh, Eclipse CS. And uh, basically all I do is I have a... Uh, the Mac cleaning um, brush, uh, airbrush, uh, total uh, gun cleaner. Uh, I think it was uh, uh, twelve for thirteen dollars for Coast Airbrush, and it has everything in it. It is, has your needles in it for. Uh, Well, I'll break it down real quick. Uh, I had a wrench laying here. One thing you don't want to do is uh, let that stuff tight stuff these uh, threads are just uh, real soft brass You just break this apart like this. And basically, I have thinner that I keep. Put it all in here. And what I do is I keep uh, just one of these containers. And I keep reusing my thinner. I'm going to let that soak for a few. It's got some paint on it. But the Master Cleaning Kit has a, like a real stiff uh, toothbrush on it. But it's a design for it. It has uh, your nylon brushes for the airbrush or spray gun. A cleaning brush.
and then it's assorted some brushes. Um, I use a couple of these for the airbrush. Uh, and then I use uh, these dental uh, picks too. But for the needle, I usually just use my regular thinner. And just make sure it's nice and clean like that. Set it aside. And I just keep... Uh, one of these uh, pipettes, and if you can see this, I'm going through the back side of their brush itself and putting thinner through it, through the head of it. And then what that does, it goes through the head of itself there, where the trigger goes. Um, sometimes you'll get back flaw back into the trigger itself. So you went into your, your, uh, your uh, ear nozzle. Make sure it's nice and clean. Then go down into your nozzle itself. That's where you get your small, smallest brush. This kind of started working a little bit. Get a little bit of dried paint in there. And don't force it. Just kind of go by itself. Once you get that out, Get these needles in the air, air not chamber itself and clean it out real good. Now that goes up to the air passage itself. Then once I do that, Now I do this every night and at the end of the night when I'm done with my airbrushes. When you're happy with that, kind of grab your brush and make sure everything's clean on the trigger. 
just spilled a little paint late last night, and I just quickly went through it, and I didn't down do this all the way. So this is a good video f to do this. And I just go through and clean every piece as I go. This piece here, I take, uh, make sure I ain't, if any paint went through the, this tube, I take the, brush up up in it both directions make sure the brush goes both the both out both the sides and put a little thinner through it to make sure it's nice and clean once you do that wipe it down with your paper towel Move on to the next one. Okay, now this is where these needles come in handy. In the head of these eclipse, there's three holes. You just want to put these needles through it. Make sure there's nothing in the, uh, the eight cha air chambers. Can everybody see that? Sorry, I had to get up close to it. Then you just wipe all this down. And then make sure everything's nice and clean. There's still a little bit of dirt in there. So I just wipe that in there. Nice and clean. And then...
See, I'm going to dump some of my thinner out because it's starting to get cloudy. I can't see my nozzle. But I run this thinner till it's almost till you can't see it, see it no more. Or if there's big chunks in it. And uh, I think after today, I'm going to have to get rid of it. But then this nozzle here... Now, this has a, a fitting on top of it, and very literally, we have to take that off. But once in a while, you will. You know, I just take this little dental pick in there and clean it out real good. Just kind of blow it out to make sure you get everything out of it. Now these are uh, at your local Walmart. I think they're three dollars for I don't know twenty bucks. I mean th three or four, three dollars for about twenty of them. And I use them till they pretty much fall apart. And if you just squint your eye and. Pull that up to your eye real good, and you'll see if that's nice and clean or not. So I said I very rarely take this apart because the the fine threads on it, um, if it's really clogged up or not, is the only time I really work on that to take it apart. Then I, if this is real bad, I just take the finest one of this wire. Then I make sure it's, don't force it up in there. And kind of spill, spool it around a little bit. Because that soft brass, you'll scratch it. Like I said, you don't over crack tighten them, but I'm missing a washer, so I gotta tighten it just a hair more. And then put that on it. And then I don't know if I can do this with the tripod up on me or not. Look at that. And then... And I always... Putting that up makes it easier to go up. And you always want that up for your trigger with these. And I put the spring up in there and start screwing it in. And then you put the chuck on it, back it off a little bit. You just put your needle in, and I just put it on my one finger just till it stops. I don't force it in. And you're ready to go.
And it, if you guys notice, on my airbrush, I used a little bit of self-felching primer. And once in a while, it has a hard time coming off. You see I'm scraping with my thumb, but that satin in a thinner to do that. And I always put try to put this kit back together back in the in the tube. I don't want to lose this stuff. that out of the way close that all right you guys think start masking off the peat and We'll start getting it ready to paint. This is the uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not on camera, but the beauty of this green tape, it shows you, you can see right through it. And if you're going to do... stuff that you need... Kind of have to mask around. And it bends pretty good, too. So 
So we're just going to have to cut a little piece there and a little bit around that. And the rest of this is all going to be masked up. I know it's kind of boring to watch people with the mask, but I know a couple of you guys were kind of inter interested about the products I use and stuff like that. And and how to use them. And I'll just do the hood for you guys and, and I'll take my time doing the hood and I mean the the cab and then we'll come back in about an hour when I have the the uh, everything all masked up and we'll actually paint it so you guys can see it getting painted Just remember, if you're using just enough tape, you're not using enough. Never, never sacrifice in using a little extra tape. Um, to avoid them bleeds. Um, When you do this stuff, always make sure you have a exact, fresh exacto blade. And this one's been in here a little bit, so we're gonna grab another one. The reason I'm trying to get this peep done. I know you guys want to do them, see them lowrider graphics, but I want to get this done before I shoot that. I don't want that flake all through my uh, spray booth. It's pain in the butt to get it clean out. I'm trying to do both at the same time. And uh, I got to do that 57 too, huh? so I want to get this done before I shoot that. And I figured I'd Try to show you guys how to do basic graphics too. See how easy that went through, and you don't don't put a lot of pressure on your underneath tape line. Just let the knife do the work. That's why I always do extra. Go through a bunch of blades doing this. Always make sure your tape's down and
if you just pull it back just a little bit, you can make a one inside curve just a little bit, but you can't make an outside curve with this tape. It will stretch just a little bit, not much. And always have your tweezers handy to pull your tape up a little bit. I'll show a bigger piece of the tape going on. I'll show you how to do that. You just kind of Go like that, and softly. Go like that. Now, this paint's only been on there. Uh, I don't know, half hour. That's the beauty of automotive paints. Uh, I touched it up with, I had a little a couple of thin spots with the black. Um, and uh, I touched it up, cleaned out, the, rinsed out the airbrush a little bit. And uh, I started the video, cleaned the airbrush. So it's only been that little time. So I'll. Uh, we're sitting at 34 minutes right now, so it's been sitting 34 minutes with this paint. Um, and I'm masking on it right now, so that's being the beauty of uh, using automotive paints and reducers and stuff like that. And it won't pull up one bit. I'm just making double making sure that there's no edges that's going to be voided on the edges. I'm going to go through and brush paint the inside black. Um, run mask tape through it at the bottom and cut it. And then uh, it's like a, 
like a liner, but I want to make sure that there's no overspray on the very edges of it. Like on his lips, I definitely want that, his ears. I just want the real fine edge of it, just the, the colors. And then behind these fenders, these holes, I don't want that to come through. So what do you guys think so far? That's and then uh I know you guys don't want to see me masking for an hour.